What is a telltale sign that a relationship is over? You wake up at 10.23 a.m. and they are nowhere to be seen their stuff is gone but they left a note saying goodbye. You start keeping things from one another. It gives you a sense of independence that you're looking for. You just don't care anymore. When you don't want to go home at night, they snap at you for minor things or disrespect you on anything. When you don't have time for each other, you've fallen lower and lower on each other's list of priorities and drifted apart. You're having the same arguments over and over. When kissing feels forced, the urge never happens mutually organically anymore. You don't have engaging conversations that spark where you're genuinely interested in what you're both saying but rather feel like you report to each other. You don't ever really miss each other or want to see their face. If small but relatively normal things they do that would be a minor annoyance instantly repulse you and cause you to think negatively about them in excess. When you routinely start making excuses to not be around that person. When every single thing turns into a big fight. Not just a little disagreement. A big. Unwinnable screaming match. By that point in the game. It's just so many layers of unresolved conflict that the relationship is toast. When you come home from work. Look around and realize they moved all their shit out. Silence. No more laughs or moments of relaxation. She starts spending less time with you. You're secretly relieved to be alone for a while. I'll stick to that post so I can worry more. When the restraining order is issued. Sex becomes infrequent. Communication has become light. Meaningless because you both know that more serious topics end in. Arguments. It gets to a point where you don't really know how each other are feeling. And you just coexist. When you wake up at 2 a.m. with your heart pounding and cry from a nightmare you had of them. When conversation dies out. I.e. when every conversation is the same. Morning. Morning. How do you sleep? Good. That's good. What about you? Bad. Sorry to hear that. According to Gottman if there is contempt, criticism, defensiveness, stonewalling, contempt being the biggest sign, they stop having sex with you. No head pensive face. I'll go first, when that significant other removes you from their Netflix, Hulu account. When you wonder what your life would be like without them, it's probably time for you to have that awkward conversation. It sucks, but it's time to put on your adult pants. When the flying saucers you are throwing at each other are not made of plastic. When they ride your neighbor's cock and then become a free stripper at the local strip club. The moment one of the two mentions about breaking up, there is no going back. When they start hiding their phone activity from you. My ex used to turn her phone screen so I couldn't see it when she was texting and she started leaving it screen side down when she put it down. It isn't a good sign. You realize they're losing interest in you. You wake up one night and they've blocked you on everything for no reason at all. Sex is non-existent. Your sh asterisk t is on the front lawn. They like the game, Fallout New Vegas. She is screwing someone else. Yeah. F her. You fantasize about being alone. When they break up with you. When she breaks up with you. She saw it. When you have more bad times than good times or when you are going to see them and you are just. Exhausted or put off by even the thought of it. You answer the phone. And hear. Hello. This is Deputy Johnston. Are you the spouse of Benny Rogers? Yes. Well. Are you sitting down? Asterisk. When they say, we're breaking up. No morning kiss. She suddenly starts getting hotter every day. When you're watching the movie, Marriage Story, 
and you start to feel uncomfortable because shit hits just a bit too close to home. Asking Reddit for telltale signs that a relationship is over. When sex stops. While it's common to have a dry spell every now and then. If it persists that's a signal something is wrong. When they start sleeping with someone else. Either one of you regularly vents their frustration with their partner to third parties who do. Not have contact with said partner while exclusively trying to communicate said frustration with their partner through telepathy and passive aggression. Either one of you resorts to asking anonymous strangers for input on whether you should break up or not. Either one of you is no longer able to consider the other as an equal. Either one of you would prefer if the other did not have a professional and or social life of their own. Either one of you has the impression that they have made or need to make large sacrifices in order to make the relationship work. You'll get back with your ex, Angelina Jolie. You procrastinate watching TV, instead of being intimate with one another. She is holding hands with Pete Davidson. Once you've lost respect for one another it's over. It's near impossible to get that back. When FAD 3D become FADs 2D disappointed folded hands. Feeling alone trying to deal with the pain they gave you. When all you want is for them to hug you and tell you it will be okay.